what do you think? What's your feelings? Uh, finish this um, this career with all with all this all history that you made with the U.S. soccer. Those are start you put in in the in the crest. What are your feelings at, at this game? Oh, uh, overwhelmed. <laughs> I think um, there's so many feelings, um, but I think what shines through is just my pride and my you know gratitude. Um, I'm so proud of this team. I'm so proud to have been on this team for so long, um, to have represented our federation and represented this country for so long. Um, I think particularly in the way that we have as a team and how we have chosen to use this incredible platform that we have. Um, I have so much pride in that and so much pride in all of the progress that we've made um, over all of these years. You know, Undoubtedly, the game is in such a better place and um, you know, so much further along um, now than, than when we got here. So, so much pride. And I think just being, you know, feeling really grateful to have been able to have um, a final game and to be able to have that kind of closure and, um, you know, an incredible crowd tonight in Chicago. Um, you know, the, the team and the staff and everybody, Federation did such an amazing job uh, to make me feel very, very loved and appreciated this week. So I'm feeling very grateful. When you make that lap around the stadium and you see the diversity and the faces of the people you've inspired, whether it's age, gender, sexuality, you know, what does that mean to you when you've seen that diversity of the people that you've inspired to change the world? It looks a lot different now than, um, you know, it looked when, when I started playing, certainly. Um, I think that's something that, you know, I know I'm most proud of. Um, that's kind of what I was getting at in my speech is, you know, as we've work to create more space for ourselves and, um, you know, fight for equality for ourselves. I think that uh, we've done that for other people as well. Um, and as those fans continue to show up and support, and uh, I think they do that to the players. It's like the players want to see themselves reflected back in the fans also, um, not just the fans reflected in themselves on the field. So it's a really beautiful thing to look out and see you know, little black girls and, um, you know, little trans kids and, um, you know, boys uh, with, with our jerseys on and, you know, families of all kinds. So I think that's something that all of us are really proud of and all of us, you know, know, especially in our generation, know the, the impact that we've made and, um, you know, know that it's a lot different now than when we started. Yeah, uh, you, you uh, have done a lot of work. You have an amazing career. Uh, but you also uh, do a lot of uh, work outside the field. I want to know what you're going to be continuing doing that work outside the field with the players. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like the stuff off the field is um, like the reason I'm, you know, here on this planet. That feels um, like my life's work and um, something that um, just feels like breathing to me. So. Um, I love that work. Um, you know, I love being able to leverage this amazing platform and um, use that to, you know, in some way make the world a, a better place. I think that women's sports specifically is in such an amazing place right now um, and such an exciting space. So I definitely want to uh, keep my name in, in uh, all the conversations and continue to be hopefully a, a big player, an impactful player. And, um, in my future going forward. Uh, not a, one, Cody, not a direct assist, but setting up a goal on a set piece. Yeah, I'm taking it. Perfect cherry on top to end the career. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> I loved seeing Trin score. Um, I'm such a big fan of Trin, um, you know, off the field and on the field, um, you know, just to see the way that she's grown. So it felt like a, a perfect little, even though I wasn't really involved in the goal at all, but it's fine, I'm gonna take credit for it. Um, perfect little passing of the torch. Um, and then I just love Sana to death. Um, obviously I play with her in Seattle, but um, just uh, such a great person and such a great player. Um, it's just so enjoyable to be around. She is now uh, officially the funniest person on the team uh, now that I've stepped away. So the mantle has been, been taken and uh, I expect to be seeing a lot more of her. Thanks, so guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Joe.